Hi, I wanted to show you something that uh, might be of interest to those who use the iPad version of Air Manager. Here we have the iPad version of Air Manager. I have it uh, showing some instrumentation. I got a little glare on there, but the, showing the instrumentation, I'll put it through the paces. You can see a nice uh, frame rate of uh, 60 frames a second. Smooth instrument motion. And it's a great solution for people who want to use this uh, some an iPad, to, for example, to provide a six-pack of instruments for uh, use on a uh, simulator, home simulator. I know a few uh, uh, people do that on some of the online simulations, uh, and uh, it seems to work quite nicely, especially if you already own an iPad. But I wanted to show you another option, and that's an option using. Uh, a tablet computer, a Windows tablet computer. This computer I purchased for about uh, $150. It's Chinese made. I ordered it and had it shipped. Um, it's running the AirPlayer app, which is a new app that uh, is available from Sim Innovations. The AirPlayer app, which will come out when uh, version 3.0 ships, allows you to upload instruments from the desktop version to your uh, Windows device or Raspberry Pi also, I think, I know. Uh, and uh, you can uh, create a layout, and once that layout's been uploaded to the device, every time you start the AirPlayer app, that will show up again. So here, you can see st the same smooth motion of the instruments here. You can see the same good frame rate of about 60 frames a second. And, uh, but this, this is on a computer uh, that cost about $150. And uh, it's not a very powerful computer. I'll put the uh, specs at the end of the video. But uh, it's got 4 gig of RAM and uh, a uh, Cherry Trail, I think, is the name of the uh, graphics, uh, onboard graphics. But not even a graphics card required. So uh, AirPlayer can run uh, instruments on pretty much uh, any low-powered computer. And this is just an example. And for those who'd like to use uh, uh, a cheap tablet to accomplish the same thing as the uh, iPad app, this is a solution that might be good. You can see that it has a slightly wider aspect ratio than the uh, iPad. You can see that extra real estate there. I know some people are installing uh, iPads onto the Valair uh, avionics panel, which is a real nice panel that's available. Uh, and uh, you know this might be another solution. The main advantage over the iPad, the iPad has quite a lot of instruments installed, but those have to be uploaded by Sim Innovations at a regular basis uh, when they do their upgrades every so often. And it's not the current latest instruments. So you can't just install them. They have to be installed by the uh, manufacturer. In this case, you can install any instruments that are available for Air Manager, including instruments you may have made on your own. You can create uh, not only panel layouts like you can on the iPad, but you can also uh, upload instruments you've created from the desktop version uh, to panels. You basically lay out the panel on the uh, desktop version and then save it to the device. And then after that, that uh, all those instruments are saved onto your device and it's just a matter of starting up uh, AirPlayer and the uh, instruments are ready to go.